Um, hi there. So, um, so we talked about chapter three and um, this video that we watch. Also, that is Dr. Stubby's thing from the office. I took, she gave it to me. But anyways, um, so for week 10 for the video, um, I thought this was really interesting because I feel like we never really look in the perspective of asking students for their own opinions and such. Um, I feel like it's more like the adults make the decisions and then the children go with it and they don't really have a feeling that they can speak up but I think once we like um ask like what teachers can get better and do better at um I think it adds a lot of improvements at school um especially when there's just a simple talking um conversation he brought up in the uh like if you go to the student in the cafeteria sit with them ask them what can we better our school how can we better our environment they'll give so many good ideas and also it talks about drawing connections to participate. This will have students feel like they're participating in their school. Um, honestly, like when I was younger, I feel like I didn't feel any participation at all, especially like my fellow classmates. I feel that's how it was. I feel like more of the authority just kind of did what they wanted and we really didn't have any time to speak up and be like, oh, like can we all like sit at the lunchroom together? But it was all separated. So it's just things like that. And then chapter three in our What's the Best That Could Happen book, um, I think that this kind of ties in together that it's all about choices. And one of the quotes that I thought is, it needs to be said that allowing people to make decisions about what happens to them is inherently preferable to controlling them. So I feel like, and then it also says it is more respectful and consistent with basic values to which most of us claim to subscribe. That kind of just talks about how um, when we give the option of change and such, um, give a choice, uh, they'll probably choose whatever. But anyways, and um, so yeah, and then it kind of goes into the materials behind this um, and also like talked about the research behind everything. I thought this was really cool because I never really have seen... Um, this much thought process into materials, um, environment for classrooms, and then also talks about the poetry club and how um, there were differences between the girls' book club. So the poetry club was more fun and there was, it was celebratory and the book club was, was more task-oriented for the girls. Um, I think that it was really interesting, like one or the other was kind of opposite from each other. And then uh, in the end, it kind of just talks about, like, uh, students taking care of pencils, materials, sticky notes, um, just the teacher's thoughts on this, and I think it's really cool, and, like, setting kind of boundaries with things, I think that's cool, but anyways, um, yeah, I think this was a great week, uh, it kind of ties in together with the whole options, choices, questions, kind of goes in together, so thank you.